Another important thing is coffee bean sign. Very frequently have been asked in the exams. So coffee bean sign is sigmoid volvulus. So this pointy is called the bird pig sign. It can be found on achalasia cardia. Achalasia cardia. Staghorn sign. Staghorn is like a deer. This is called the staghorn sign. And why it is found? It is found on the kidney. Abdominal radiology. So the description is given here. You can just have a read. So the most important thing that can that frequently come in the exam, we will go straight go to this one. This is the important one. So let's talk about the first the ringular sign. So ringular sign is can be found on the pneumoperitoneum or gash under diaphragm. So this also has it has another name. We call it the crescent sign. Has been given crescent sign. Yes, the crescent sign has been given. So crescent sign is nothing just you can find a gash under the diaphragm. So on the left side, fundal fundi gash shadow can be found as a normally we can find fundi gash shadow. But on the right side, this is very uh, concerning issue. So there is a like a half moon, crescent like moon can be can be shown just under the diaphragm. This is called the crescent sign. This, this means a free gash year under the diaphragm and what's the diagnosis the single diagnosis is pneumoperitoneum pneumoperitoneum can also be found in another scenario what's that scenario is a regular sign so this is the kind of look like this ones so another important thing is coffee bean sign very frequently have been asked in the exams so coffee bean sign is sigmoid volvulus so it's very much classical example it looks like this it looks like a coffee bean and you have to know the axis. It's a very dilated loop of the intestine, gut. So you have to see the axis of it. The axis of it of the mesocolon, if a mesenteric has been attached to it, the direction is a left lateral side, right? Left lateral side. So left lateral fossa is most commonly is by the sigmoid. Same thing is been given in a reverse scenario, exactly like this scenario. If this here is given like this, so the axis is towards the right side. So in that case, think about this is a sickal volvulus. Keep that also in mind. Okay. So now the issue is with sicum. Okay. Now the apple core sign. So apple core sign is the colorectal carcinoma. How does it looks like? So when we eat the apple, it looks like only the central portions of the apple has been is, is been shown. The other side is been obstructed. So exactly same in given on the cecal carcinoma on the cecum. It means there is some. This is obscured by the carcinoma. It's been obscured by the carcinoma. So in the lumen. So this is the cecal lumen. If we cut the lumen and we see from the in front, it will be look like this in a normal scenario. But there is a growth here. So because of the growth, the lumen has been narrowed in that way. So when we pass the barium, so on the centrally, it will show looks like this. So this is the apple core sign that can be found on sickle malignancy. Now the late pipe sign, this is another sign can be given in the exam. What is the late pipe? Late pipe means it's found on the ulcerative colitis. How does it look like? So see the transverse colon. So it's a transverse colon. Does it look like uh, any uh, typical structures? of the intestine. So volvuli conjunctivitis is common features of small intestine and the host treasure is common features of large colon. So this is, it is supposed to be a transverse colon and it has, has some host treasure, but the host treasure has been lost. So it looks like a straight, straight pipe, looks like a late pipe. So loss of host treasure gives a looks like of late pipe sign and it's commonly found in the ulcerative colitis because ulcerative colitis is very strict with the colon, while this Crohn's disease can be found from the top to bottom anywhere in the intestine. Double bubble signs. The double bubble sign can be found in where? So this is the stomach and this is the duodenum. So it's found on the duodenal atresia. Atresia means it's been obstructed. So this is looks like a duodenum. It looks like this. The first part, second part, third part, fourth part. Atresia means is non-continuous. It has there is nothing in it. If you give a fluid, it will not pass through it. So it looks like this. 
So this is the first part, second part, and the second part and the third part. So there is no connections in between two. So this is called the atresia. So what will be given? The gas will be accumulated here. So one part of the gas will be accumulated within the duodenum and one part is with the stomach. Why there is whitish in between? This is by the pyloric entrum. The pyloric entrum is being constricted. That's why there is no connection in between. So one gas, one gas. Looks like two balloons under the both of the both diaphragm. And there's a blood fluid level. See the straight line in here. So typical features, double bubble sign is duodenal atresia. Patient will be very newborn. Keep that also in mind. The age of the patient is also gives a very important clue to diagnose what that could be. The string or pearl. Now, the small bowel obstructions we may find. So, valvuli conduit is earlier in the late pipe sign. We know in the large gut, the loss, loss of hostration. In the small gut, the valvular condimentis will be lost because of the small oil obstruction. So what will be looks like? It will be looks like, you know, bead. There's some beading. So this is called the bead of the string. It will be looks like this. And of course, due to obstruction, of course, check for the air fluid level. Transverse horizontal line significant because there is a fluid. Fluid will be, this is fluid because as a transverse, as a gravity, and the curve upper, convex part, it for the gash, right? Okay. So staghorn sign. Staghorn is like a deer. This is called the staghorn sign. And why it is found? It is found on the kidney. See on the staghorn calculus can be found on the kidney. Keep in mind, 90% of the ureteric stone are visible through the x-ray. 10% cannot be. This is what? This is in the kidney. But on the gallbladder stone, uh, the proportion is just like the reverse. So on the gallbladder stone, only 10% gallbladder stone can be found or can be seen through the x-ray. 90% cannot. Okay. So for the exam purpose, look for the crescenteric sign and the small and large bowel obstructions. One of the very typical features they might give you on the small intestine, this uh, air fluid level can be found on the centrally and the large cut. Uh, obstructions can be found on the laterally, but not always it is true. Always look for the obstructions or the valvular conventis. Keep that also in mind. What features I have been lost? Copy bean sign, thumb printing sign. Thumb printing sign is can be found as IBD. So large thumb printing sign is on the large gut. On the esophagus, one thing is not mentioned here. Let's draw a pictures for you. On the esophagus, there's a barred peak sign. So this is the esophagus and the stomach. So if there will be some achalasia cardia, right? Rat tail or achalasia cardia. So food will be accumulated here. Nothing can pass through here. So it will be look like something like this. It is very dilated and very narrow. So this is called the barred peak side. So you'd see this is the barred. This is the peak, very pointy. So this pointy is called the barred peak side. It can be found on achalasia cardia, achalasia cardia. And there is another one, cox screw sign. Cox screw sign means if there is uh, contractions of the esophagus muscle is very irregular between themselves, it will be looks like this. And now the esophagus. This is esophagus. Okay, let's make a, another view. So this see the Esophagus is called the cox cork screw. Cork screw sign can be found in uh, irregular esophageal spasm. Esophageal spasm, just one word. Esophageal spasm. Cork screw sign. Okay. 